Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I want to talk to you about three things that you should pay attention to when publishing a report to the Power BI service. More specifically, there are three things related to reader mode, which is the view only mode that people have when viewing apps in a workspace or the app experience in the Power BI service. Certain things regarding the UI and the report design that can be missed because you can't observe these changes today in desktop when you're in edit mode. So I want to walk you through these, why you want to consider these, and why it's also important to review the report after publishing to the workspace. Let's go ahead and hop into the Power BI service and get started. Now in general, when I'm building a report page, I try to make sure that the amount of pop-ups or distractions are minimal on a report. And that primarily buckets into two big categories with a couple of subcategories below them. The first one is the visual header icons, and then the other one will be making sure visuals don't pop in front of each other. So let's first take a look at the visual header icons and ways that we can minimize those and distractions. Again, only things that we can observe when we make these changes in reader mode. So it's good to do a pass through to make sure nothing got missed after you publish. So hovering over certain things such as a slicer. Now, certain visuals might benefit from having header icons turned on. Does a slicer need to see what filters are there? Do you need to be able to, as an example, use the focus mode to make it full screen? Do you need to be able to go in and do any of these options? I'd argue that this is probably something not needed for a slicer. I'd rather have a cleaner interface. Now I could go back to Power BI Desktop to make these changes. If I happen to miss one of these things, I actually find that it's fairly quick just to come up to the edit icon in here if I'm in a workspace, which puts me into a report edit mode, just like the Power BI Desktop environment. And now I can come to this visual, I can come over to the format pane, I can go to general, and I can turn off header icons here. Now again, observe that these changes can't be noticed yet. I turn it off, I still see it here, which is why it's really easy to miss when you're in the desktop experience, because you might forget to toggle one of those and you can't do this audit in Power BI Desktop today. You can only do it in the service. But if I go back to reading view, save my changes, then we can observe those changes as having been put into effect. So we want to, for as many visuals and as objects as possible, turn those off. Similar for shapes. I see a lot of people where they get these little icons popping up for a shape that they might be using as part of the design. In this case, I'm using it to create a scrim or frame around the two slicers to help them stand out. So again, coming to edit mode, selecting this item here, general, turning off the header icons, coming back to reading view, saving the changes. Now, one last thing also in regards to this is making sure that if you stack visuals and group them, we do not want this little pop-up to happen. If you select that item, it will come to the front if a certain feature hasn't been enabled and it kind of looks like something broke. So again, we want to ensure that this doesn't happen. Once again, only something you can see once you've made this change, once you've published it in reader mode. So why are we doing this in the service? Coming back to edit, selecting that visual here, better said, selecting that chart and coming over to general and properties under advanced options, maintain layer order. Now it will still pop up in the edit mode. These changes only apply in reader mode. It's an annoying thing today. Hopefully we get some changes to this in the future, but this is something that's just needed today. So coming back to reading view, saving that. And now as I click on this object, nothing's popping up. So we've now get this nice, clean, cohesive integration between all of these things where there's no pop-ups, there's no extra icons, and it's a nice seamless experience with minimal distractions. The last thing that I'll mention too, in regards to header icons, you can turn them on or off entirely, but also you can edit the choice of icons as well. Let's assume maybe that I only want to do an expand or collapse. I don't want it to go to one level at a time. Now in edit mode, if I made changes for that under general, header icons and icons down here, scroll down. So I want to turn off, go to next level. I can turn it off here. I don't see those changes yet. So one last place where you'd probably want to double check once you're in the service to make sure that the proper icons that you want shown are the ones configured for a particular visual. And it's a art and science of which ones work for which visual outside of the scope of what I'll be talking about in this video, but it gives you three things to think about. Turning on and off the header entirely, turning on or off individual icons in the header, and then the maintain layer order. All three things which can be hard to track in the desktop experience, uh, at least until we get some better tools. And with the report uh, definition language coming out in preview that was demoed at Fabric Conference, we should hopefully be getting some tools that help to automate this a little bit more in the future, but for now, it's still a bit of a manual process. But these are things that I will always check with my client reports. 
Um, but that's about it that I want to talk about for this video. I'm happy to hear any comments or suggestions down below. Maybe some things you might also want to check in the reader mode that I might have missed. Feel free to drop them into the comments down below. Otherwise, check out some of my related content here in the upper left. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe to help my channel grow, and I will see you all in my next video.